in a frustrating season, sometimes you need a rivalry win to rev everything up as you make the stretch run. And Ohio did stack the bricks for their sixth in a row over Miami. And their 12th in the last 13 tries over the Red Hawks. Final score at the Convocation Center on a snowy Saturday in Southeast Ohio. Bobcats 92, Miami 87. He's Rob Cornelius. I'm Russ Eisenstein. We're presented by the Athens County Convention and Visitors Bureau. Wow. That's what rivalry basketball is all about. Yeah, and that's really what it should feel like. And Ohio has had a good run of wins over Miami in recent years. But you know what? They're better. And this year, they're obviously with some doubt. And this game went to overtime and proved this is a tough game between rivals. And guess what? We have to do it again soon. Yeah, we'll close the regular season at Millette Hall. Ohio was up by eight at halftime, outscored by eight, obviously, in the second half, and then won the extra session 13 to eight. What was the difference, sir? Well, and Ohio had led by as many as, as 15 earlier in this game, but Ohio got defensive stops down the stretch and managed to really flip things in the overtime. Got down two possessions, got down four between before flipping it and just being great down the stretch and uh, making a ton of baskets and getting stops of Miami at the end. Ohio at five in double figures. Tavian Kirk, 18 points. Jordan Dardis, 23. Gavin Block off the bench for the first time at 16. Yeah, played great. Got some boards. Got some three blocks. Don't tell him. Don't review the tape. He wants to keep those three blocks. Between Gavin and the game, Tavian had 44 minutes. Trust factor. He was on the floor a ton today and produced. Flip side. I know Bobcat fans love beating Miami, but it's important that Miami gets better in this rivalry, and they are. Some really good individual players. Nike Savandi, 22 points, 10 rebounds. Yes, yeah, some really nice pieces. And again, he's a guy, you put a number one on a kid who's a freshman, you expect a certain swagger. He has it. He wants the ball at critical times. He shoots. They were really good in stretches. Hit a bunch of threes early in the game, were terrible from two in the first half, and got better and close this game on a bunch of offensive boards where Ohio couldn't keep them off the glass. So Ohio's in a log jam now at the bottom of the max standings. Four wins in league play and 11 now overall. Up next, Kent State. It was a tight one up there. We'll play them on Tuesday night. Yep, tough matchup up there, but obviously down here a little bit different. Kent, one of the best teams in the league last year. We'll see what Ohio can do. 92-87 the final score. Ohio wins in overtime over the Miami Redhawks. We're presented by the Athens County Convention and Visitors Bureau, and this is Bobcat TV.